Hello, you're watching a Neon Film and today I'm going to have a bit of a ramble about whether or not illegally downloading films is a good or a bad thing. Now, the filmmakers and film producers tend to argue that the illegally downloading film is theft, it's, um, it's illegal, it's, there was the famous, famous adverts where they were stealing, it's like stealing a handbag, you wouldn't steal a handbag, you wouldn't steal a car. And the new approach, which can be seen in the advert within, with John Hurt voicing, is that it is going to destroy the film industry, that you won't have a film industry if it continues. Um, which I think is a bit overdramatic, and I also think it's wrong, because I think that what has happened with illegally downloading film is actually, if anything, it's improved the film industry and made it better and more dynamic because it's forced it to innovate, it's forced it to cater to um, consumers more and I think it will continue to. Um, for example, services like Netflix I don't think would have come about if it hadn't been for the illegally, for people illegally downloading films, which many people would argue is a good thing that Netflix has come about because it makes the experience of an consuming team t TV and film, sorry, TV and film um, more enjoyable and more convenient. And I would argue that a film industry wouldn't, doesn't tend to innovate unless there's a commercial interest for it. And there was, because illegal, people watching films illegally was a competition, it was money they were not making. So services like Netflix could come in and say, well, you need our services and you need to give us access to your content, which of course they pay for, um, because otherwise you're, you're losing all the people who would want to watch these films and watch these TV shows. Um, it does tend to bring up questions about where film and TV industry will go in the future. Um, for example, I was what I've been watching as sure a lot of people have Game of Thrones recently and I was watching it on Sky Atlantic and when I was watching it I was because I've got used to the experience of Netflix and being able to watch a lot of episodes all in one go after watching one episode I thought, oh god I've got to wait another week for this why can't I watch them all in one go and I think Netflix is, has, and other services have, have changed the viewing experience in that way which I think is is a good thing because I think it will give people more choice and it would be interesting to find out whether or not um, the film and television industry how it adapts to this and whether maybe in the future shows like Game of Thrones may be released all at once on a service like HBO Go in America or or a similar sort of service in the UK. Um, I know one of the things that a lot of people argue in terms of illegally downloading films is the reason that they do this is because especially being in the UK, we want to have access to things immediately and this doesn't happen and we have to wait for uh, the American content to be bought by a channel and then broadcast in the UK. Um, whereas online distribution, we don't have to wait for this. Um, it also brings up interesting questions as to whether or not services like Netflix actually will become like television networks in their own right, considering the fact that recently there's been, quite interestingly, there's been arrested developments um, which Netflix are distributing on Netflix for you to watch, which was a show that was canned ages ago, and Netflix as well have had their own original series such as House of Cards, uh, which has been very successful. And so it'll be interesting to see whether this will continue or whether they offer a real challenge to the film industry, um, film and television industry. Um, it's an interesting topic. Uh, put your comments down below. Have a bit of a debate. 